Welcome to the next generation of gaming. HD was fun, but 4K is even better. Elgato's 4KX is one of the newest capture cards out today. Let's dive in. What's going on, you wonderful people? I'm Brandon, and welcome to Creighton TV. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up the 4KX capture card on PS5 using Streamlabs desktop on Mac OS. Let's hop into it. So when it comes to the unboxing, here's what you get. Drop the tab, Elgato. Here's the little diagram, how you set up the capture card itself with the console. More on that later. Ultra high speed certified HDMI cables inside. You got the Elgato 4K, 4KX capture card itself. Pretty nice paperwork a 3.2 USB-C Thunderbolt cable and 8K HDMI cable. So when it comes to setting up your 4KX capture card, it's really easy and simple. Take your capture card here. So you wanna take the HDMI out port cable that you have plugged to your monitor, plug that in right here. The other HDMI cable that's plugged into your console, you wanna plug that into here. Take the USB-C to USB-C cable that came in the box. Plug Plug it into the USB-C, plug it into your MacBook, pretty simple. Now, if you're using PlayStation 5, just before you all do this, make sure you go to the PlayStation 5 settings, which I'll show you right now, and disable HDCP. You wanna go over to your settings, go down to system, go down to HDMI, and make sure that, make sure HDCP is disabled. So when using Elgato's latest capture card products, they label it as a plug and play design, which it is. But when you're using Mac OS, there are a few extra steps that you have to do to get yourself set up. That way you can be able to use it on your PS5, your Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or your, your iPad. Let me show you. You wanna go over to Elgato's website. I will leave a link to it down in the description box down below. Hey, Neil, you wanna go over to products, go to capture, select your capture card that you have, in this demonstration, I'm using the 4KX capture card. Here it is right here. You make sure you wanna go over to downloads over here in the right hand corner. This is on Mac OS. You wanna make sure your filter system is set to Mac and you wanna make sure that you have the latest capture device utility downloaded onto your computer because there is some require updates that you have to do with the 4KX capture card. It will look like this and it'll let you know there's no capture card device found. Once you start plugging it in, disclaimer, this video is not being sponsored at all. I did purchase the Elgato 4KX capture card with my own money. After you plug in your Elgato 4KX capture card, you'll see it pop up right here using the new, the updated Elgato capture device utility for Mac OS. You wanna click on update firmware and it will let you know for the 4KX there is an update available. You have to do this first because prior to setting it up on the PS5, you will not it will not work and it will give you a uh, out of range error. So make sure you hit update. Update was completed. Took Takes about 15 to 30 seconds. All depends on your internet speed. But yeah, they, as you can see it right there, the update was success. Click OK. So to complete the process, it wants you to disconnect the uh, 4KX capture card from the USB, then reconnect, unplug it in here. I usually would wait probably 10 or 15 seconds, plug it back in, and there you go. It should, let's see, loud. Now when I click update firmware, it tells me I am all up to date with the latest version for the Elgato 4KX capture card. So now everything else should work just fine. So here is how your setup should look after you have done the update for the Elgato 4KX capture card. You have your HDMI in coming from your console, USB-C plugged into your MacBook, HDMI out going to your monitor. And after you do that update and you disable the HDCP in the PlayStation settings, which I showed you, you will see your screen pop up. Now, let me show you how to set this up with Streamlabs on a Mac. Want to make sure that you have the Elgato capture device utility download and you will see your capture card right here as a device. You want to make sure you set your audio input to HDMI audio. If you are using the chat link cable, you can select analog audio and adjust your analog volume as such. But right now in this demonstration, we're using HDMI audio. You want to make sure you turn on 
HDR tone mapping of the latest firmware should be updated. From there, you also want to open up Streamlabs, starting off here with a clean slate. And as it's opening up right now, uh, you create your scene from over here right next to where it says sources, hit the little plus icon. You want to add a video capture device, name it to whatever you want. And I'm going to call it 4KX. Hit add source. You can uncheck the preset right here. First click on the little device where it says the drop down menu, select the 4KX capture card, uncheck the preset where you can change it to you whatever you want up to 4K frame rate, 30 FPS. You can do 120, but we'll go 4K 30. Everything else can be to audio. Hit done, want to resize. So a faster way you can do it is just right click, transform, fit to screen, gives you that full page layout, what you want. Uh, if you don't see your audio meteors popping in as they should, you can go back to the sources, add a audio input capture device. Click that, name it too, so you know what it is. Audio add source, set to monitor and output device. 4KX. I did add the audio input capture device. Close that out. So as you can see, the audio, the game audio is coming in right here. You can hide that because it's not there. But as you can see, the audio meters are bouncing and you want to keep them just above where the green is entering the yellow. So you don't want it too loud and sufficient. That is how you set up the 4KX on Streamlabs desktop using Mac OS. With Elgato's 4KX plug and play design, it's made for the PC, the Mac, and the iPad. Yes, you heard that correctly, the iPad. With Elgato's new iPad app, Elgato Capture. Link in the description box is down below. And let me know if you would like to see a setup video with that. So if this video is helping you out so far and is providing the value for you, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you are new. If you got any questions and you wanna see more setup guys, go ahead and drop a comment down in the comment section down below. That being said, thanks for watching. God bless, and I'm signing out here. Peace. Let's get to some more MLB to show. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets. <laughs> Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. Another homer, his second home run of the game, and they tack on to their lead. <laughs>